Good morning everyone, today we're going to be showcasing the new 2025 look or at least the very first draft as we did create this outfit with the help of you guys on Twitch yesterday. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to showcase is, of course, the character's face. I am pretty happy with the face. We did change the eye color to purple this time instead of the usual blue. So we are moving slowly towards the more purpley color scheme out of the blues. Um, but then again, you guys know I am a little bit colorblind, so I usually can't really tell the difference. But uh, this type of purple I can tell is actually purple because it's not like, you know, my hair type of bluish purple. I don't really know if you have noticed, but my hair is actually two shades of blue and purple and it's mixed together which is why it has this like layering effect which is pretty cool but as you guys voted you guys wanted the neko ears so we are going with a whole neko mimi theme this time for the 2005 outfit we do have the chi pao it was a absolute pain in the ass to get this gold color but thank you chat for you know working with me and finding all the different colors uh, for those who don't know how to find a very specific color online let's say you're going for like a gold or you want like a baby blue or whatever what you could do is you can just use Google and type in the code of whatever uh, color you're looking for and then you can also search up the RGB codes and then once you get the RGB code you can simply come to edit miscellaneous manage all color settings and mess around with whatever color so for example the embroidery over here it's actually based off my inner wear so as you can see the current gold color that I am using right now it is 240 on red 170 on green and 28 on blue but let's say that i want something a little bit lighter you can always slide it a little bit towards the lighter side and look now we got a silver and you can just kind of mess around with whatever colors you want in order to uh, get that perfect combination now as for the outfit itself we are using the soaring dragon dress b so uh, this is the variant so basically the chi pao dress for those who don't know what this is it is a chinese dress we call this a chi pao and on top of that we also have added the tattoo so this sakura tattoo was available i believe two scratches ago it is called the cherry blossom tattoo type 2 i did buy the b variant there were two different variations of this we are still using the altilia rise of body highlights so that does add these little pink highlights especially during the thighs over here you can see this little dot this little dot over here it adds these little highlights just to make the thighs as well as the arms just pop out a little bit more um, as for the hairstyle I know a lot of people might be curious about this hairstyle specifically it's not a very popular hairstyle but it's called long low knot ponytail uh, it's actually not that expensive or at least at the time that I bought it I do like it quite a lot because of how it's designed you know it looks really fancy in the front you know not too crazy you know it doesn't scream attention and then at the back you've got this beautiful beautiful ponytail and you can also have the little knot over here, which you can also change the color of based off your inner wear. Now, other than that, the rest of it is, of course, the different accessories. The accessories play a very big part of how the outfit looks. So we do have the bunny earrings, which you cannot see right now in this current pose, but um, well, barely, you can barely see it. But when I do do certain poses, you will be able to see it a lot more clearly. Uh, as you can see right here, I've taken several screenshots of my character. Um, so, you know, I do like having the bunny earrings, but uh, we might take this out. We might change it if we decide to put a different accessory. Again, this is just the very first draft. So uh, we still have until the end of this year to edit stuff. And, you know, who knows? Something else might come out in the next couple months that uh, might interest me. And we might switch things up a little bit. Roberta's glasses has always been a staple. I really, really like these glasses. Unfortunately, they do cost an arm and a leg at the moment because, well, you can't get these glasses anymore unless you buy them off the player shop. Now, something that a lot of people have been asking is the twisty tail white. So that is this tail over here. It does move by itself quite a bit. Um, now, something that Eldora actually taught us in chat yesterday was to flip it the other way around. So this twisty tail by default, it is actually like this. So you can see it's flipped all the way down and it's kind of 
you know, it's kind of calm cat. And then now I switch it, you flip it all the way 180 degrees and now you look like a lively cat. And uh, this was really, really cool. So thank you Eldora for this piece of information. Made it a lot better in my personal opinion. I prefer the cat's tail to be like this. It's excited, it's happy. Now as for the Neko ears themselves, it is the cat ears with ribbon white. So that is why I have these little white ribbons is because uh, it's part of the cat ears. The Shinobi fire scarf, of course, because uh, you guys voted for this. And I do like the scarf, it is really pretty. And then of course we have the NGS official creator tag because uh, I need people to know that it's me so that people who try to impersonate me to scam other players don't actually get away with it. Now I've had a lot of people ask me about how do I get this blush type of look and uh, that is actually through the makeup slash face paint. Monica Cheek gives a really nice blush. However, if you want these little lines over here, you are going to need to get this flush over here, the Bandesini flush. The Bandesini flush is the one that actually adds these physical lines over here. And then if you increase the intensity, you can see these lines get even more outrageous. Um, now, obviously, I don't I don't need it this crazy. So I like it a little bit faded, not too super crazy obvious. And that just kind of accentuates the blush. Now, for those who are trying to mess around with the eyes as well as the mouth, it's actually really, really easy if you're using the anime face. The reason I say this is because when you go to the eye detail over here, you can actually just change the, uh, the eyelid position so that it looks a little bit more smug. And then as for the mouth position, it's very, very easy to fix the mouth. All you need to do is make the mouth to the smallest size, drag it all the way to the very top. So basically you get this side, this slider, the right side, slide it all the way to the middle and drag it all the way to the top. That's all you need to do for this part. And then for the Y axis, you just drag it all the way to the very bottom and there you go. And uh, you can adjust the position over here depending on how high you want the mouth. And then you can also adjust the vertical position, which is the corners over here. So if you want like a sad face over here, you can do it like that. You want a happy face, you can do it like that, so forth and so on and everything in between. And you can kind of mess around with what you want. However, that is not the key thing that will make this look good. You have to go to customize expression over here. So your face is going to be in the natural position. So what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down here and there is the A-E-I-O-U, all right? And over here, in order to make it look smug like this, you want to drag the U a little bit up until you can barely see her teeth. And that will give that kind of like oo type of face, all right? So you can see by default, this is what it looks like. Just a nice little smile. But then if you drag the U a little bit, you, you see how the middle up peckers up a bit, and that's how you get your uwu face, all right? Now, if you want something a little bit more crazier, uh, you know, maybe you like the sus kind of look or the mocking type of look, you can go with Smile 2. As you can see, Smile 2 does have a much more mischievous look, and so basically you can see all of the different sliders, and you can just copy these sliders when you go back to your neutral state. So basically just copy everything that Smile 2 does. So all of these sliders right now, like you take a picture of it or you uh, screenshot it or whatever so that you know where all the sliders are and then that way you can fix it up. So for example, the eye, you know, if we turn that all the way down and then we turn the U up a little bit. Now we got the uwu face, but the eyes are kind of comical like this. But keep in mind that by default, your face is always going to be resting in the natural position. So basically, if you see something that you really like, for example, you really like the smile or you like the angry or you like the sad, you know, you can just copy all of the different sliders based on what you see. Like the suspicious one looks pretty funny. You could mess around with this, maybe change the eye size, make it a little bit bigger so that it doesn't look as silly. But there are a ton of cool things that you can mess around with. And the anime face is super, super animated, which is awesome. You know, if you're going for a very very specific expression, this face type lets you do a lot of those cool things. But uh, nevertheless, you know, once you escape, your face will return back to the natural position. All right, as you can see, natural. So uh, you do need to uh, basically screenshot all the different sliders if you want a specific emote to be like that all the time or specific uh, expression, sorry. Now, another thing a lot of people tend to forget is you can actually add ears and horns without having to rely on some accessories. So let's say that you wanted like some bunny ears, for example, but you don't have any bunny ear accessories. You can go over here to the ears and horns over here and click on ear selection over here and you'll have a bunch of different ears. So you can see over here, 
here. We got these different ears. We got some mecha ears. If you want some Neko Mimi ears, you got some angel wings as ears as well. There are a bunch of different ears over here that is part of the NGS collection that you might already have. So you can change this. And then there are also a bunch of horn selections over here in case you do want to make like an Oni type of look as well. There are a ton of really, really cool stuff that uh, a lot of people tend to sleep on. A lot of people seem to have forgotten that there are some cool things over here that you can actually mess around with. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.